The project will guide land use planning, national policy development and biodiversity monitoring. This will also direct agricultural expansion away from sensitive ecosystems, preventing conflicts between development and conservation and strengthening community livelihoods that support tourism. The project will solidify Namibia's environmental policies with scientific data, thereby enhancing national biodiversity knowledge and facilitating future monitoring endeavors. The Environment, Forestry and Tourism says Namibia is endowed with extraordinary ecological diversity, hence the need to know where they are, how they function and where they are most vulnerable. This map transforms science into action and empowers policymakers, planners and communities to make informed choices that protect our ecosystems while promoting inclusive development. It is also deeply integrated in Namibia's red list assessments. The red list of, of endemic and near endemic plants developed by the National Botanic Research Institute, the red list of animals coordinated by National Museum of Namibia, and the red list of ecosystem all complement the spatial outputs of this SBEP map. The map classifies and it spatially maps 218 distinct ecosystem types across Namibia. Dr. Ben Strobach, a lecturer at NAST, led the description, assessment and mapping of Namibia's ecosystems. We are relatively often in the field. We are looking at these ecosystems in the field, and if we find mistakes, that is where the 2% come in, we will correct them. And when I am busy, or we are busy, rather, uh, with a description of all these ecosystems, this is the first draft, um, basically a template of for every single ecosystem with some of the baseline data in it already. The map will further assist with environmental impact assessment, climate resilience strategies and natural resource management.